All right, so shift A, add the Voronoi texture, connect the distance to the base color, and switch the F1 to the distance to edge. Increase the scale to 75, and duplicate that Voronoi texture. Shift A, use the Mix RGB, put it on top of that line, and connect the second Voronoi to the color number 2. Decrease that amount to just 40, and switch this mode to the Multiply. Increase this value to 0.9, add the color ramp, put it on top of that line, and switch these colors so the white make it black and the black make it white. Take the black handle to the extreme left. Add the noise texture, connect it to a color ramp, add the mix RGB, put it on top of that line, and make sure to use that color ramp as a factor. Connect the first noise to the color number one, and simply duplicate that noise texture and connect it to the color number two. Now let's tweak these settings. So for the noise, let's increase its scale to 25, and the details to 16. Same thing on the bottom. And let's take that handle, that black handle, to the right. Also over here, let's make it a little bit uh, too white. OK, so let's make some space over here. Shift A and let's add the curl ramp. Put it on top of that line. So drag the white handle to the left and switch its color, this hex value, to the following. 100 FOE. And for the second color, 89, 61, 48. And now let's work on the bumps. So Shift A, add the bump node, connect the color to the height, and the normal to the normal. Decrease the strength to something like the quarter, 0.25. Add the color ramp, connect the color to the factor, and the color to the roughness. Change again these colors, make the black white and the white black. And keep playing with these handles until you are satisfied with the reflection of our leather material. And now let's add some overall bottles to our texture. So start with the noise texture, add a color ramp, and connect it using a mix RGB. So make sure that everything is well organized. So I'm gonna be connecting that color to the mix RGB, putting it on the second, and connect everything to the base color. Switch the mode to the multiplier, and make sure to switch those lines. So the color number one connected to the bottom and the color number two connected to the top. So basically keep tweaking those handles until you are satisfied with those puzzles. Decrease the scale noise to something like 0.25 and keep playing with the roughness values. All right, so basically that's it. This is our leather texture. So now we can go ahead and assign it to our chair in our office room.